In one of our recent videos, we introduced our new harp teacher, Carrie. Hi. And today we're going to be getting to know Carrie a little bit better with a Q&A. So I have my board set up here with some different topics that we're going to be talking through. And I'm going to ask Carrie some of the questions that you asked in response to that video. You guys asked some fun questions. Some of them are a bit weird. Some of them are fun and interesting. So <laughs> we're going to get to know Carrie. But before we get to those topics, we're going to start with something called two truths and a lie just for some fun. So Carrie, have you prepared your two truths and one lie yes i have are you ready for them <laughs> yes okay so the first one is i have traveled to all 50 states in the u.s at least once and when i was younger i got to see the queen of england ride in a carriage down the street of my hometown and then the last one is that i have flown an airplane Oh my goodness, and two of these are true. <laughs> Wait, the Queen of England, you've flown an airplane and you've been to all the... Oh my goodness. Okay, so I need... You guys who are watching the video, you need to guess down in the comments, and I'm going to guess now which one is a lie, and then we're going to wait till the end of the video to hear the truth. Well, to hear which one is the truth and which one <laughs> is a lie. Okay, I think I'm going to guess that all 50 states is a lie because that's a lot of traveling okay i think I'll, I'll guess that's the lie but we'll wait till the end to hear okay so here's my two truths and one lie so which pet have i not had okay the first one is an ant lion which feeds on um you feed it ants i also had a guinea pig that had a fancy hairstyle okay. and a parrot that used to say good morning to me oh my gosh okay so i'm guessing <laughs> which one of these you did not have yes right? Well, parrot and guinea pig sound like normal pets, so I almost feel like it's the one you wouldn't expect, you know? <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to go with the parrot, that you did not have the parrot. Okay, so we'll have to wait till the end to see which, okay. which pets I've had and what crazy things Carrie has and hasn't done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get to the... Um, the questions that our people have answered. There's actually one or, two, or asked. There's actually one or two questions here that I just added in because I wanted to know. For those of you who are watching, you can also pop down some more questions in the comments and Carrie will go and answer however many of those she can afterwards. So if you're disappointed that your question wasn't asked, you can just pop it down in the comments. Okay, so let's start with topic number one. Your hops. Okay, so the, this was one of the most commonly asked questions and that is, Tell us about your hops. Sure, yes. Okay, so behind me, this is my newest harp that I got back, uh, I think it was last September I got it. And it's a Lion and Healy style 2000 electroacoustic harp. And so this allows me to like hook it up to effects pedals and amplifiers and fun things like that. This has kind of been my dream instrument that I've always just had my eyes on. So it was really <laughs> exciting for me to finally get it last year. And it turns um, out that it's the same harp that I have, the same pedal yes. harp, except mine doesn't have the fancy racing stripes. <laughs> yeah, so we have harp twins, which is kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a harp that I've had, I think, over 10 years. It's a Kamek Athena. This is really the most recent edition. Um, this is a Ravenna, a lever harp that is on loan from the Virginia Harp Center. And this is what I'm gonna be using in future videos, teaching courses and things like that. So I just picked this up last week. So this is really exciting for me to add to the harp collection over here, so. Okay, and somebody else asked, do you have any other harps like wire harps, double strung or cross strung harps? I do not, but I think those are absolutely amazing. I would love to just try playing on a cross strung harp. Back in 2019, I went on a trip throughout the States and I was able to go to a lot of different harp makers and also harp shops. So oh, wow. I've definitely played on double strung and cross strung. I guess I must have played on a wire strung because I tried some of those ancient harps, but it didn't stand out to mm -hmm. me as much as trying to figure out how to play double strung and cross strung is really yeah. fun. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe one so day. Neat. Okay, the next category is music. So this is a really sweet question. I had to read it out exactly as it was written. Oh. Hello, hello, Carrie. Welcome to the nicest online community you'll find on the internet. <laughs> what are your favorite music genres to listen to? Ooh, this is a hard one because I feel like I have such a broad range of music that I like. Um, I really love classical music, religious music, um, I'm a big fan of movie soundtracks. 
Um, like in particular, anything by Hans Zimmer, I just absolutely love. I love how ambient it is. And there's even like pop music that I like. And um, so I think I'm kind of all over the map in that area, but that kind of gives you an idea of my taste. Yeah. <laughs> and what kind of music do you like playing on the harp? I don't know if it's similar or, um, so this person specifically said classical, anything from any video game series or famous songs by pop artists? <laughs> mm. I do like playing pop music a lot. That's always been like, since I was younger, I've always wanted to see how I can play a song that I heard on the radio onto the harp. And just from studying in school, I've cultivated a really strong love for classical music. So that'll always have a, uh, a special place in my heart. So yeah, I think those, those are the two. And then this is a potentially harder one. They said, what are your three favorite songs and your least favorite song? Do you have any songs like that, that you're just like, don't really uh, like that one. <laughs> yeah, I would say Canon and D. Really? <laughs> it's a great song. I see why people like it, but it just gets old to me after a while. <laughs> Have you played it way too many times? Yes, many weddings. <laughs> ah, there we go. That'll do it. <laughs> and what about favorite songs? Do you have any that stick out to you? Yes. So um, Debussy's Claire de Lune will always be probably one of my favorite songs to ever play on the harp. Um, I really love Renier's music, Henriette Renier. Um, one of her songs called Contemplation is really beautiful. Um, the Do Impromptus by John Krauss is really beautiful. I really enjoy playing that one. So I'm gonna have to yeah. look these up. Okay, I think we can move on to the next category, which is teaching. This person asks, I'm looking forward to doing a course with you. Will there be already one in September or do we have to wait longer? <laughs> <laughs> Christy Lynn might know better than I do on this one. But. So those of you who are excited to learn from Carrie in a course, you'll have to wait till November, but it's coming soon. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Will we have Harp Zoom meetings in US time zones soon? They're very excited to have more options. <laughs> yes, yes. I think that'll be really great for everyone just to have different options and not have to get up too early or stay up too late. Um, so yeah, there'll definitely be those. When this video is released, I think it will be next Thursday, our first Harp Grove Zoom with Carrie. And so we'll do the regular time with me and Carrie will be there so you can meet her. And then I'm going to stay up super late in the night to do one with Carrie at a time that works better for other people in the world. And so then Carrie will continue that time slot later. So it's going to be so great to have another option. <laughs> one person asked, what do you think are the biggest hurdles when it comes to learning the harp versus other instruments? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I think levers and pedals just kind of put a whole new twist on playing an instrument. Um, yeah, just it's so unique to the harp to actually have to like manually change what key you're playing in or like the pitch of a note. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's hard to know because we haven't learned all other instruments. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe some of the people who are watching this will know better than us what yes. is more difficult about harp. So you can actually let us know in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> the next one is. Is learning the harp now going to offer private lessons? The short answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Christy Lynn might be able to elaborate a little more on this, but yes, we're very excited about this. <laughs> yeah, we're at least going to offer a few slots for Carrie to teach some people during October, November and December this year. So if you've been learning by yourself for a while and you want someone to help you for a month and just check that things are in order to set you up, or if you're just starting with the harp and you want to get a month of lessons or two or three months to get started, um, we're going to do that over Zoom so you can click the link down in the description box and have some one-to-one -one lessons with Carrie. Another person asked, I often question if I'm sitting in the right position and holding my arms right and if my hands are at the right angle for my small hands. What would you say? Because I know it's kind of hard when you can't see the person. <laughs> Right. Yes. And so that's definitely something um, that it is easier to evaluate when you're looking at someone's position and how they're sitting. And so I would definitely recommend um, signing up for a one on one lesson and we can work through that together and kind of take a look at what your posture and your technique is like. And we'll yeah, we'll help you with that for sure. <laughs> yeah. And another option that should be coming up fairly soon is we're hoping to start 
technique check-ins where it would be a small group of people and we'll give everybody feedback on some basics of their position at the hop. So watch out for that if that would suit you better as well. <laughs> so the next topic is hobbies. First question. This is um, from Christy Lynn. <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> Yeah. So well, I've heard a little bit of this before from Carrie, but I wanted to make sure it made it into the video so everyone can get to know her a little bit. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, I definitely enjoy being outside. I enjoy going on walks and we have a great little trail behind um, where I live that is just really beautiful to go explore and just, you know, take a, a break during the day. Um, I also have just recently gotten into learning how to make homemade bread. That's a very new occurrence in like the last few weeks, but um, yeah, it's very fun. It tastes delicious and I'm trying, gonna try to experiment more with like the types of bread I can make. <laughs> um, and then I enjoy traveling, exploring new places and new foods and, um, and pretty much anything crafty. I really enjoy making things with my hands and whether that's like decor for our house or, um, yeah, so. You said you like to look on Pinterest and then follow the directions yes. from there and do DIYs. Yes, definitely. Yeah, that's Pinterest really fun. is great. I also like crafty things. <laughs> and another question, this is not from me, um, just a disclaimer, I didn't secretly write all the questions. <laughs> this one is, do you have any pets? And if so, tell us about them. Mm. I wish I had some pets. My husband and I really want a cat, but unfortunately we're not allowed to have pets where we're currently living. So we'll just have to put that on hold, but we really want a Siberian cat. I don't know if y'all have heard of those, but my parents oh, have one. fluffy ones. Yes. Yes. Ah. And they're just have, they're so sweet. They have the sweetest personalities and they're really lovable and friendly. So we're hoping to get one of those eventually. Oh, <laughs> that's so <Yeah>. nice. <laughs> okay. I think next category, family. Mm. First question, where did you grow up? What took you to Virginia? Yeah. So I actually grew up in Virginia. Um, and once I graduated high school, that's when I moved out for college and moved to Indiana and then Texas. And so we just recently moved back to Virginia. I'm about two hours from where I grew up. Um, so it's kind of cool to be back in my home state. So yeah. oh, I thought you didn't have a very strong Texas accent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Makes more sense. And do you have any siblings and is your family musical? This question is from me. <laughs> So I have one older sister. She's three years older than I am, and she lives in Indiana. She's a music therapist, so music does run in our family. My mom's side of the family is really where our musical roots are. My grandpa learned how to play the cello when he was like in his 60s, just took oh, it up wow. as a hobby. Um, and then my Nana, um, she sings and is also very musical. Um, my dad says he can play the radio, so he doesn't really take credit for any of the musicality in our family, but. <laughs> Well, we, I always say we have to have people listening to the music as well. If we were all playing at the True. same time, then we, we wouldn't have an audience. So, <laughs> True. yeah. <laughs> okay. And then someone asked, is your husband a musician? He is. Yes. That's actually in the context that we met. He plays saxophone. We met in the church orchestra that he also played in. And then this question is actually from my sister, Cara. She said... How long have you been married and what's your favorite thing about your relationship? Yeah, so we've been married for two years. We got married in October of 2020, right in the middle of the COVID craziness. And so um, I would say my favorite thing about our relationship is, first of all, just how much we laugh together. He makes me laugh just every day. He's just a very funny person um, and a lot of fun to be around. And, um, I just really enjoy just like exploring new places with him. Like I said previously, where we live, it's pretty easy to go to other cities and towns to explore. And so, yeah, it's just fun having kind of a built in best friend to do everything with. So, <laughs> so sweet. And then category number six is whoops random. <laughs> there were some questions that just didn't fit in any category. So we popped them here. Someone asked, this might seem like a silly question, but are your fingers double jointed? My third and fourth fingers are and they look and they look like yours. 
<laughs> so I actually I saw this question under the video and I actually had to Google it to see if like my fingers were double jointed. I don't think they are. Um, I heard that like if you're able to like bend them back further than usual, that means you're double jointed. And I can't do that very easily. Yeah. So. Well, I've As seen people I who have double jointed fingers where they can like um, like they can they can bend just the last joint, ah. but like on their own. Um, so I think if you had properly double jointed <laughs> fingers, you'd probably know. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I don't think I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I don't know if you have an answer for this, but Ethna asked, what's your favorite harp joke? I can think of one that someone said to me at a gig one time. They saw my harp and they're like, huh, it seems a little bit high strung, doesn't it? And it took me a minute, but I was like, mm. uh, I often had people asking me, like, when they see me carrying my harp in, they'd be like, I bet you wish that you play the flute. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, that's a classic Yeah, I've heard that one before. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> or some people ask if that's like a, a giant oven mitt. I've heard that one a few oh, times. Oh, yeah. That one I can respect. <laughs> Yes, true. <laughs> and then, which music would you take along to a desert island without an internet connection? I would probably feel like I would want something ambient and calm just to keep me calm because I'd probably be freaking out if I were on a <laughs> desert island, to be honest. So, <laughs> like Enya, like music from like when you're in the, I don't know, getting a massage or something. <laughs> Just music with like a lot of reverb and lot of pads. like nice piano music or pads. Yeah. Like lo-fi music would be nice too. Right. It's yeah. really chill. <laughs> this is a question from Angus. Oh, I like it. Oh, <laughs> if your husband had to describe you in five words, what would he say? Um, that I'm introverted, which I can make myself be extroverted when needed, but by nature, I'm definitely more introverted and enjoy like having time to myself. Um, and then I'm very creative. I enjoy cozy things. So cozy is kind of the word I would say. I like um, that one. Cozy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I need two more, don't I? Well, that's pretty great. I mean, if you wanted to okay. start three, yeah. I think that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the last category is harp moments. What have been the highlights of your harp journey? Are there any moments that stick yeah. out to you? Ooh, I like this question. I mean, definitely when I graduated college, I don't know if this counts, but like I studied yeah. harp in college. So it just felt like, you know, just a big accomplishment to have achieved with all the all those hours practicing and recitals prepared for like it was just really um, exciting just to have met that milestone in my life. And then I can think of several moments when I'm performing. Um, I don't know, just like the nerves just kind of dissipate and you're just in the moment, like playing music and enjoying it for like what it is. And um, just the joy in that moment is, yeah, definitely very memorable for me. Yeah. Well, the next question is kind of linked. It's, can you think of one memorable performance you've done? Ooh, let's see. Um, it was actually one of the first solo recitals I'd ever done <laughs> in my harp career. And I was very nervous beforehand, but, um, yeah, kind of like I mentioned previously, there was just a moment during that recital where I was like, oh my gosh, like finally I've reached the point where I can just like produce music and not like worry about how it's sounding um, and just kind of enjoy it. Like I've struggled to just enjoy playing because of performance anxiety. And so, um, yeah, there's just a lot of freedom in that moment of just pure joy. <laughs> oh, that's so special. Katerina asked, how did you first hear of Christy Lynn and her Learning the Harp community? This is the last question. I had known about the company for many years. Um, I think maybe a YouTube video had shown up on my feed and I was like, oh my gosh, like a heart video. You don't see that very often. And so um, I like have seen some of the videos before and then um, I eventually subscribed to the email list and um, yeah, <laughs> from there on, I saw the job advertisement. I was like, oh my gosh, they're hiring. That's really cool. <laughs> so so through, through a YouTube video. Yep. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. really cool. <laughs> so now this is the moment of truth, literally. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> Where we need to do reveal the answers of the two truths oh. and one lie. <laughs> oh. So let's, let's review from your ones. What was it? The Queen of England. Yes. Um, for all the states. Uh huh. And, and I've flown an airplane. And I thought that the lie was all the states. You are correct. Was 
I correct? Yeah. You're correct. Yeah. Wait, so that means you've met the Queen of England and you've flown a plane. I have not met the Queen, but she did visit my hometown of Williamsburg, Virginia when I was in elementary school. And she literally like rode down the main street in a carriage with Prince Philip. And my mom like pulled my sister and I in, out of school so we could go see her. And <laughs> it was, I didn't realize how big of a deal she was back then, of course. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, I've seen the Queen of England. So, <laughs> And how did you fly a plane? I went to this camp growing up and we went to a local airport in town and they had an opportunity for us to go up with a pilot and they let us just like steer the plane essentially. Yeah. So that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so mine with the three pits, the ant lion, the guinea pig, and the parrot. You were also right. I, I did yes. not have a parrot. <laughs> I kind of, I guess I realized that um, the ant line was so random that it's like when you wouldn't really include a few. <laughs> I'm if curious you haven't to know what an ant line is. I'll have to go look that up. <laughs> yeah, I want to do like a, I might screen share or something. Let me see if I can find one. Like, don't get a shock because it looks kind of like a tick. Like, it's not beautiful. So they make these holes and then these little parts at the front of them stick out of the hole. You can barely see it because they're really small. They're like, they may be like a quarter of the size, a big one would be like a quarter of the size of your fingernail. And, oh, wow. but then they throw the, the sand out of the, of the ground. Have you ever seen this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You watch them throwing it out until they make oh, this God. like funnel. And then they have these little parts sticking out of the funnel. And then when an ant falls in, then they grab it with those parts and then they can it. And I <laughs> definitely not common. That's like a Christy Lynn thing. <laughs> I, I also had like an ant farm and um, oh at one point God, I, think I kept is. earthworms and I really liked bugs when I was young. So yes, it was yes. just me. <laughs> <laughs> so Carrie and I both guessed the right lie, but did you guys guess the right thing? You got to let us know in the comments if you got it right. And also let us know if there's any other questions that have been sparked by this video that you're desperate to know the answer to. You can pop it down in the comments and we can't promise that we'll answer all of them but we'll answer as many as we can. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to see you in the next video. Uh, see you soon. Bye. Bye.